Hi, and welcome back to MyExcelOnline.com. Today we are going to compare and contrast XLOOKUP with VLOOKUP for when you are looking up information in a column in Microsoft Excel. So here's where we want to end up. We want to end up using VLOOKUP up here in this section and XLOOKUP down here in this section, just so that you can see some of those differences. And at the end of this video, I have some bonus Excel training for you, so you might want to stick around for that. So VLOOKUP versus XLOOKUP, what's the difference? Well, the first major difference between VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP is XLOOKUP is only available in Microsoft 365 and also in Excel version 2021. So if you're using anything before this, you will have to use one of the other kind of lookup functions, whether you want that to be VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, an index plus match function, whichever your preference would be. So just remember that XLOOKUP is only available in the later versions of Excel. So one of the biggest differences between VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP is the location of the columns in your data array. So let's try this right now. I have a date that people have joined and I want to look up the first name based on the date of joining. So in here, I'm gonna type equals VLOOKUP with a left parenthesis. And what lookup value do I want to look up? Well, I'm just going to click on the 4722 right here. And then I'm going to type a comma. And what table array? I'm just going to select this entire table here. I can do that by holding down my left mouse button on column A and dragging to the right. And then I'm going to type a comma. And now I'm prompted with column index number. Well, the thing is, I have to specify which column after the column that I'm looking up. And it has to be a column to the right of the column that I'm looking up. So you can see this problem right now. My date of joining is over here in column D. I really need this to be in column A because it needs to be my first column. So I really can't return Lena right here because she was on 4-7. I really can't return her because she is to the left of my date. And I need her to be to the right of my date. So I can either cut and paste this column so it's to the left of the first name, or I can move the first name to the right of column D. So I don't really have an answer for column index number. So if I hit enter, I'm just going to get an error here. However, if I click down here under XLOOKUP and I type equals X lookup with a left parenthesis, again, I'm being prompted for my lookup value. I'm going to click on the date that I want to look up, and then I'm going to type a comma. And then I will be asked for my lookup array. And my lookup array is which column am I looking up this data? So I'm going to click on column D and then type a comma. And then my return array is asking what value do I want to return? So I'm going to highlight column B, hit enter. And I can see that I'm being returned with Lena because right here is four seven. And this is when Lena joined. So XLOOKUP, first of all, does not need you to select the entire array of data first. I only need to select the column where my lookup value is. And then I only need to select the column of the value that I wish to return. So this makes XLOOKUP a lot more flexible function to use than VLOOKUP. If you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. Now, what if I were to put my data in the correct order for my VLOOKUP and I want to look up the name Lena. So if I click in this cell and I type equals VLOOKUP with a left parenthesis, what value do I want to look up? Well, I want to look up Lena, type a comma. And where is my table array to look up her name? Well, the name column starts with column B, and I want to return column D. So I'm going to select B, C, and D. And then I'm going to type a comma. And then I'll be prompted for my column index number. So column B is going to be column 1, column C is going to be column 2, and column D is going to be column 3. So I'm going to type a 3. And then don't forget when using VLOOKUP, you do have to type a comma and we want to put this false argument for exact match here and hit enter. Now, if I were to want to use XLOOKUP, it's going to be what we just did. I can type equals XLOOKUP with a left parenthesis. My lookup value is here. Type a comma. My lookup array is column B. Type a comma. 
and what I wish to return is in D. But for X lookup, I don't need that same ending argument for the exact match. X lookup will just find what I have in G6. But what if I don't want to look up Lena? What if I just look up ZZZ? In this case, you can see that NA is being returned right here with V lookup. But if I click inside my parentheses, I really don't have any other arguments to get rid of this error that I'm being returned with. However, if I click down here in my XLOOKUP function, and if I click in here and type a comma, I can see that I have this argument called if not found. And what this allows me to do, I can just type double quotes, not found, and my double quotes and hit enter. So XLOOKUP allows me to return text instead of an error when a value is not found. So these are a couple of the differences between VLOOKUP and XLOOKUP. We have a few more differences out on our blog if you would be interested in learning more about these two functions. I will include the link to our blog in the description below if you would like to go there. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click up here and join our Academy online course today.